Good morning. Thanks for joining us. The time is now 529 on Saturday, June 27th. Let's first get a check of your weekend weather with meteorologist Harmony Mendoza. Good morning, Harmony. Hey, Kyle. Good morning, Kyle. Thank you, Harmony. New this morning, two people in Birmingham are fighting for their lives following a shooting late last night. Police were called to 13th Way Southwest around 1030. The two victims were shot multiple times and taken to UAB hospital. Police say their injuries are life threatening. So far, authorities don't have any information on the gunman or what led to the shooting. An investigation is underway. Another shooting investigation underway this morning, this time in Jefferson County. Deputies were called to the 1500 block of Charter East Circle and Center Point just after 9 last night. A male victim was driven away from the scene to a gas station on Old Springville Road. From there, he was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. Investigators believe the shooting stemmed from an argument. Happening now, a massive hole on a major road in Birmingham is causing some traffic trouble after it formed yesterday. Fred Davenport is live along Red Mountain Expressway. Fred, is there a time frame when this hole will be fixed? Thank you, Fred. One of the escaped murderers from a New York prison is dead. Richard Matt was shot and killed last night by police. Matt was one of the murderers who escaped from a New York prison earlier this month. The manhunt continues for the other escapee, David Sweat. The two prison employees, their charge and connection to the jailbreak. Jubilation erupted across the country yesterday after a landmark ruling by the Supreme Court to make same-sex marriage illegal nationwide. By a vote of 5 to 4, the High Court declared that refusing to grant marriage licenses to gay and lesbian couples violates the Constitution. Each of the four dissenting judges filed a separate opinion explaining their views, but agreed that states should have been left with the power to make the decision. The ruling will not take effect immediately because the court gives the losing side roughly three weeks to ask for reconsideration. It's been more than a week since anyone has heard from missing Trustville woman. 61-year-old Pei Yen Sung was last seen walking in the Longmeadow subdivision. Police say she never returned home. Ms. Sung works as a waitress at the Palace Chinese Restaurant in Trustville. She's been an employee there for more than 10 years. A Talladega County Jail Corrections officer has found himself behind bars in Coosa County. Deputies arrested 29-year-old Cecil Chapel Friday for the murder of 66-year-old Doyle Ingram. Ingram was shot to death on June 19th. According to detectives, the suspect and the victim were involved in a business deal. They say Chapel shot Ingram at his home, then moved the body. Chapel is held in Coosa County because of his job at the Talladega County Jail. Bond is set at $500,000. An Adamsville woman is accused of hiring a hitman to kill her ex-husband. We're told Heather Walsh paid an undercover officer a $500 down payment to carry out the murder. Adamsville Police Chief Robert Carter said Walsh was arrested Thursday after meeting with the officer. According to investigators, Walsh wanted the murder to look like a robbery. Carter also confirmed the couple was set to appear in court yesterday on a child custody matter. Happening today, funeral services will be held for the mother of Charles Barkley, Charcy Glenn. Miss Glenn died last Friday of kidney failure at her home in Leeds. She is said to have been a pillar in the community. In addition to being the mother of one of the NBA's all-time greats, funeral services will be at First Baptist Church of Leeds. Charcy Glenn was 73. The need for blood donations typically increases during summer months. That's one reason WVTM 13 has teamed up with the American Red Cross for Birmingham's biggest blood drive. It's not too late to give. Come out today from noon to 6 at the old Radio Shack location inside the River Chase Galleria. For more information, just check out WVTM13.com slash Red Cross. All right, the 4th of July is coming up, and that means fireworks. Oh, my gosh, people yeah. People like taking their dogs out to a park or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. What's the proper way to handle a dog when they hear those loud noises? Well, you know, a lot of times they, a lot of dogs don't care, right? I mean, you just, you know, they just handle whatever. But a lot of dogs, the, the popping and the big noise and all that stuff, it'll scare them. And, and a lot of dogs end up running away. And if you happen to have a dog that's a little nervous in those situations, just put him away. That's your best option. Put him away, put some background noise in to sort of mute the, um, the fireworks and that sort of thing. I say if they're, if they're not comfortable with it, don't force them through it because you might end up, you know, having them jump a fence or something like that. All right, Brad, thank you very much for bringing Tate on the show this morning. Why, uh, thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. You can, you can get him at the PetSmart in Trustville. Trustville. Okay. That's right. That's I appreciate right. Appreciate you.